Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Successors Power of Next Gen Technologies. Today we are going to discuss about scheduling. So how we will schedule the tasks using control room. Okay. As well as client also, I will show you the both of the schedules. First, I will show you with the control room. So, I am going to my control room. This is my control room. Here, I am going to repository manager. Okay. Here, I need to select which task I am going to schedule. So, now, I want to schedule this folder synchronization task. So, here, when you go to this top right corner here you can find the actions button so when you click on that actions button it will display two options the first one is run and second one is schedule you should go with schedule <coughs> so once you go with the schedule so here you have to give the name for that schedule so I said folder sync. So here recurrence. What is the recurrence? So it should be repeat on daily base or weekly base or monthly base. Okay. First I'll go with the daily base. I will show you. <coughs> daily base. So daily base means so every one day or two days, three days, you can say like that say two days it will run based on alternate days okay if you say one day it will run based on every day so if you say every day so okay even whether it be daily base or alternate day base here you have to say the start time of this scheduling okay start date from what date from which date it should be start so i want to schedule it from today onwards so that is the reason I am saying start date will be this one and end date. <laughs> so you are saying it should run on daily base, but how many days it should run? I just I want to run it for one month. At that time you should select the end date, but you don't want to stop it forever. So it should be run lifelong. At that time you need not to select the end date. Okay, that is the thing about end it basically when you when you develop a bot and when you are scheduling it basically you won't mention the end it because you want to run it lifelong so then schedule time at what time you have to run it exactly okay so i am selecting 6 pm like that so whatever you want you can mention that time okay then in the real time one control room may have many bot runners so here i have only one bot runner but it will have so many so you want to select on which bot runner you want to run it actually so here i am selecting this one so if you have multiple you can select whatever you want exactly so then save it if you save this it will go on run by 6 pm on this particular machine but you should remember <coughs> the client in online so here you are seeing the green button right it is mentioned the home client is in online for suppose that client has disconnected from the control room or maybe, maybe any reasons it has been logged out okay then it will goes into the red red or just null that became white that time that may be the disconnected or offline at the time that won't be run so you should make sure that should be online that is the mandatory thing so that is about daily base then weekly so go to weekly base so on which day of every week so alternate weeks or particular weeks some things what will be happen so you will perform the transactions complete week and you will dump it to some server on sundays or saturdays like that at that time you will go this weekly scheduling 
so everyone to run but i need to run only on saturdays okay so i am unchecking all other things i am just i am checking saturday only so this scenario it will just run on saturday only so in the start date and end date as same as daily base scenario only so schedule time also same that is about weekly then monthly so if you go to the monthly see the first day okay that means if you select the day is 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is the date of that particular month okay so if i select the first january first it will run again feb first it will run again march first it will run so but you want to run alternates but you don't want to run on some particular month you can okay so but in general we will run it every month so every month on first it should run so that at that scenario i'll select day but in some scenarios i want to run that task every first monday of the month at that time what you will do the first you will select this radio button the first monday at the first tuesday at first saturday at first friday otherwise the second third fourth sometimes what will happen sometimes the fifth monday also comes the fifth sunday also come at that time what you will do say you will go last and say the particular monday or tuesday like that so if it is the fourth monday is the last day monday that will go on fourth monday if the fifth monday is there it won't run on fourth monday and that will goes on fifth monday that's how it will work that is about scheduling thank you thanks for watching our videos please subscribe and click on bell icon to get regular notifications